Welcome to the 80s Glam Metal Warrior. Well, here we are, everyone. We're back with another week of news roundup in the world of 80s metal and rock. So let's start. There's a lot of stuff going on with Dokken and George Lynch. So Dokken has announced some more dates featuring uh, Lynch Mob along with them, and there's talk that there's going to be a little reunion at the end of each show, encore reunion of George Lynch and Dot Dokken. So going along with, with all this Dokken information, we have some Lynch Mob news. So basically it's going to be Oni Logan back, and it's going to be the Wicked Sensation 30th Anniversary Tour. And along with these guys, it's supposed to be Tony Franklin on bass and Brian Tishy on the drums. So, but what happens? We have some news from Tony Franklin. Uh, shortly after that gets announced, and he says, I will not be doing any dates with Lynch Mob in 2020. So we've got some confusion on uh, who's actually in the lineup right now. So hopefully, uh, as the weeks progress, we'll get some, uh, some answers on what's going on there. Let's talk Super Bowl. So I'm sure everybody's pretty hyped up for uh, Super Bowl Sunday, but there's something else going on, and it's the 80s Glam Metal Bowl. So stay tuned to Twitter, and you'll find all about what's going on there. We're going to pit two classic glam metal giants against each other. There will be all kinds of polls you'll be able to participate in, and at the end, we will crown the winner. And there's going to be a halftime show, so keep your eye out for that. Warren's got a song in a Walmart Super Bowl commercial, and it sure feels good to me off the Cherry Pie album, and it sounds like it's going to be for the grocery pickup. So keep your eye on that. If you like grocery pickup, you like Warrant, you're going to love this ad. And we are going to end off with my band, KISS. So as of tonight, uh, it sounds like KISS resumes the second leg of the end of the road tour. David Lee Roth is opening up, and I don't know about you, but I think that's a great idea. I know on uh, a lot of the dates from the first leg, they had a painter uh, opening up, and I, I don't know about you, but I prefer seeing a band versus a painter. Uh, I think back to the days of KISS when I saw them. I saw them with uh, Slaughter and Little Caesar. We've seen KISS with all kinds of kick-ass bands throughout time, so I think this is great bringing David Lee with him. So, Tommy Thayer did an interview, and he said there's going to be some new tracks uh, put into the set list. So, what, let's talk about this for a minute. What do you think, what do you guys think they're going to put into the set? So I guess later tonight we'll know. Uh, I'm kind of hoping they do Unholy. I think Unholy's one they could really pull off. I'm thinking, though, it's going to be probably material from uh, either a live one or a live two. I've noticed a few songs that didn't make the current set list, like She, maybe that will be uh, back in there, Ladies Room, uh, I'm assuming it's going to be Gene songs, but those are those are two uh, hypothetical ones that it could be, but I'm pulling for them. And coming up on Thursday, we've got the 80s Glam Metal Cast, back with a new episode, and it's with Mark Ferrari. Now you know Mark Ferrari, he was the lead guitar player of Kiel. And he also is back with his old band, Cold Sweat. So we're going to talk all about that. And you know what? We're going to talk a little bit about him being in Wayne's World. So check all this out. Comment if you have your own theories about all these topics. We'll see you next time. Rock on!